We are at the HEC Paris Business School, where a major space talk was held with the next generation of space professionals. Students from across Europe followed the event online and joined in on a live poll that gave them a chance to share their ideas on what European space activities should be achieving. ESA's Director General Jan Werner was joined on stage by European astronauts Claudie Anure and Thomas Pesquet, as well as two student representatives. They discussed the activities to be presented at the upcoming Ministerial Council, where ESA's member states will decide the future of space activities in Europe. As the students today will be the professionals tomorrow to implement and benefit from these activities, the event gave them the opportunity to express their opinions about the future of space. Are you going to take care of what they say? Not only I will not only take care, I will bring it to the ministers of Europe, to 22 member states plus associate members, etc. in the end of November. So please give me good messages to convince them that we need you for the future and we need space for the future. Using an online polling platform, some 1,500 students, both at the event in Paris and at organized events across Europe following the web stream, took part in the poll. The results showed where the participants' interests lie in the area of space science, how much they think space data contribute to our knowledge of climate change, and ESA's role in ensuring Europe's autonomy in space. On the topic of hazards in space, over 80% of the participants believe that space debris deserves the most urgent attention. This is something that ESA has been working on for years. Every satellite project developed at ESA has to take care of end-of-life disposal of the satellite. We have a commitment to ourselves and to the society not to create new space debris and we are leaders in that uh, domain. Following the responses in real time sparked lively discussions on stage as the presenters reacted to the poll results. We will need, with highest priority, to be innovative. When we are innovative for the future, we are also innovative for the present. And that means we will have also wonderful opportunity to find new technologies for our terrestrial uh, stakes. Claudie and Thomas were not the only astronauts on stage that evening. ESA astronaut Luca Parmitano joined in live from the International Space Station. ESA, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for voice check. So well, let, me, let me say hello to everybody down there. Space is about the future. And the future involves all of us. Uh, every single individual that's sitting in front of you right now is involved in the future. Uh, it, their life depends on the future. Space is investing everything into the future. So uh, we need to understand that when we ask our politicians, our leaders to invest into space, what we're really asking is to invest in science and technology for the future and the future belongs to all of us. At the end of the event, the students got the chance to ask their questions about space activities directly to ESA's Director General and to the astronauts. For more on ESA's current and future space activities, you can visit our website at www.esa.int. I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels for ESA Web TV. Thanks for watching.